when he scores in double digits, I think they're seven and one on the season. Good backdoor cut. Keaton Van Solen, the junior, six foot seven from Waukee, Iowa. Merrill to kick out in the near corner. This is Diogo Brito. Alfonso Anderson, the offensive rebound, the reverse lay-in. Second chance points for the Aggies. And a lot of teams have a difficult challenge with it. Five on the shot clock for Merrill, who's still scoreless. Here's Brock Miller, squares up and drains the three. Another referee, Mike Cyphers, looking at the footwork. I didn't get a close enough look at it to confirm, but Mike Cyphers does a great job. Oregon, I know. But Scott Drew does have himself a squad. I think he's still got to keep the Zags number one. Brito from three, one of two Portuguese players on the team. 31 points, 11 rebounds two weeks ago when these two teams met. Swan's got five points on two of six shooting here tonight. Three to shoot. Walker somehow gets around Alfonso Anderson. Now Mara, the left-hand dribble drive, dumps it off inside of Justin B. And he takes it down inside for a dump pass. That's beautiful basketball. Justin Bean, the finisher. He shoots a team 48% from the floor on the year. And well under both of those stats in this game. Five on the shot clock for Sam Merrill, who finishes with the right and hits the deck. Coach Brian Dutcher and head coach Mark yeah. Few. Dutcher's ability to take over a program that was run by Steve Fisher for almost two decades. And they've dipped. They lost three straight. Then they beat Nevada. And then they great play. It didn't count the first time, but it sure does that time. What happens on press breaks? Ends up being three on two, two on one. And we have a guy like that in Kate just with three and a half to go. So trust me, Craig Smith's on his guys and trying to teach him how to close. And that's been the message all week since that game, or the last couple of days, I should say. Finishing, finishing, finishing. His high IQ down inside. And just the fact that he has great touch on the ball. Brock Miller for three. That one goes down for Miller, his third. And face and go at him. I I'm just surprised that we haven't seen one time. Oh, my goodness. Justin Bean, who's already got his 12th double-double of the season. They throw as fast as they could. Then they got a foul on Kata. But look at that. I just love it. Over the top of two guys. Ready to recognize what they wanted to do, obviously, is that young. But also the commitment they're making to not only the school, but their country as well. Takes on Wyoming next Tuesday. We will be there in Laramie. <laughs> as Utah State will move to 15 and six overall on the season four and four in conference play.